Hi, welcome back to Japan. This was supposed to be the final video I was going to upload on my stay in Japan. And we had it all planned out perfectly. However, plans don't always go to plan. Reason being, a typhoon hit Japan during my stay. Our flights ended up being cancelled and we had to stay almost an extra week. And while that means more videos for you guys, <laughs> It meant a lot of stress for us. But before any of that, let's still enjoy what was supposed to be our last couple days in Japan. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the entire time I've been in Japan, I've been playing the heck out of some Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has honestly been a huge supporter of this channel, from helping me give a thousand dollars to live streamers and charity donations, to even just allowing me to have a fantastic time playing their game. You can collect over 400 champions, discover 13 beautiful locations, you have the ability to personally customize your champions, choosing their artifacts and creating a unique mastery build for each one of them. Raid with friends in a clan like my clan if you're fast enough to join. Spots usually fill up pretty quick. Best part about all of it is that it's free to play. With over 300,000 reviews on the App Store, Raid has almost a perfect score. So what are you waiting for? Go to this video's description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free champion, the executioner. Look at this guy. You also get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days in the game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you right here. So hurry up because all these rewards are only available for 30 days. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring this video. It would mean a lot to me if you do check out their game since they helped make this trip possible and me buying too many freaking switches possible. All right, now onto the video. And our plan for the last day was <laughs> to go back to the places that we really liked and buy the things that we passed up on the first time and just wrap up the day with some of our favorite things we've experienced so far. Hi, I'm PP now. <laughs> I don't know what a PP is, but I'm it. <laughs> so first up, we're heading back to Nakano Broadway. It was always the plan to come back here on our last day. We're gonna spend today in Nakano Broadway again and I really shouldn't point and I hate that I did that. It is rude to point here. Lego hands. Like you're supposed to do Lego hands. I hate myself, but let's go buy some games. Whatever this is for Legend of Mana, it's only 40, which is like less than 40 US. And that is criminal that I'm not buying it. I want it, but it's, it's too big. It's too big. I, I want it, but it's... What the heck? So, you remember those gacha machines, right? <laughs> As I said, we've been addicted to these throughout the entire trip, but this one was the one that started it all on that first day. So, hell or high water, we are going to get an Umbreon here, because it's the last one all of us need. No Go one on. has got an Umbreon yet. Well, that is until now. Can you imagine? Leafeon. <laughs> I actually really like Leafeon and I don't have it yet. But it's still not Umbreon. There's only like 15 left and one is an Umbreon. So if we really so, wanted to get all 15... You could go to a store and buy one. So. I want to go again, but I only have this. I shall give you one, sir. Thank here you. Well, I need one more. <laughs> and here we are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, if there's Umbreon this time, it's mostly yours. Yeah. It can stay at mine on weekends. <laughs> Oh no, not your buddy again. <laughs> Between all of us, we have at least 10 of these now. Oh, you got this, Kimberly. I don't think Come I someone do. someone do it. Oh, wow. that's, that's different. Oh. different. Oh. It's Eevee. Here you go. Oh, Is it? Yeah. Well, it's red, so it's Eevee. Oh, it's so cute. It's oh. nice. Yeah. Weeva. <laughs> I'm making bad decisions. She I want this yeah. so bad. Damn. At this point, it's a challenge. I feel challenged. So that's what? Right. There's so many. Did you get it? I would accept anyone, but we got this. This is the one. No, this is the one. This. There you go. Oh my god! As soon as I had it, all of that, two in a row. Oh my gosh! Tyler's like, I need one now. 
only cost me a hundred dollars. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So this store does all the EVs and uh, I actually managed to type on my phone, do you trade? And he said yes. Yeah. So I gave him five doubles that we got and I actually got a Sylvie on. And now we have the whole thing. We have every one. So high five. Someone high five me. <laughs> I feel bad high fiving you because you don't have the umbrella. So I actually feel good because I managed to have a conversation with him. A mix of the, like, the five phrases that I have learned and then using Google Translate on my phone. We managed to, you know, converse about do you trade and then I traded. It's my first kind of conversation with someone. It feels good. I like it. I'm learning. The main reason I wanted to come back to Nakano Broadway was to buy that Dragon Quest Switch. I wanted that to be the last thing I did. It is the last day. I'm going back to where they had loads of them for the best price I had found. Okay, I have good news and bad news. So that game store was where I got the Slam controller. They sold out of that. The bad news is the Switch was so cheap, they sold out of that too. So now I have to find it somewhere else. But literally right across from that shop was another electrical <laughs> place that sold TVs and laptops and things like that. And they had the Smash Brothers Switch. I'll be honest, I think this is a really nice looking Switch, but I never had that much interest in actually picking it up because I already have a Switch. I don't understand because their regular Switches were like $50 more than this one and it's perfect. It is in perfect condition. I didn't want to buy two Switches on this trip, but I'm going to. <laughs> I've actually already taken a look at it. I wasn't sure if this was even used. And the only thing that tells me that it is, is actually a really good thing. It's got a screen protector on it. I still don't know why it was cheaper than the other switches they had. It makes no sense to me, but it's perfect. I definitely think the Dragon Quest one is way freaking cooler. And I really hope that I get it. Now we're done here. And our plan was to head back to Akihabara, which this time, right as we got off the train, we saw Square Enix Cafe. I'm not sure how we missed this, but we're gonna eat here. We didn't come here for this, but it's here, so we're going in. Immediately as I walk in, there they are, the things that I paid uh, like 54 in that other store. So it's a hundred here. I got a good price. Oh, that's very nice. That is, that is a very nice switch case. Well, it was $75. For <laughs> it better be. The food was okay. <laughs> It was okay. It was much better than Pokey Cafe. I'm realizing these themed restaurants don't really put too much effort into their food. The effort goes into making it look like a novelty, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have any utensils. I think it's just supposed to go in face first, like you're bobbing for apples. Oh, oh it's right. Oh, that's a lot better. Oh. Oh, I don't like the way your skin Then we accidentally stumbled on a store that people were telling me to go to, Book Off. This is literally the most Switch games I have seen in one place. It is insane. I don't even know where to begin. It's too much. It's too much. Japan, settle down. I could spend all day here. I don't want to keep everyone waiting. This is only 14 bucks, probably less. It's called Work Work. I really like the cover art. I read online it's kind of like Mother 3 inspired. I'm not really sure on it, but for 14 bucks, I'm just going to grab it and hope for the best. I don't even know if it's going to be in English. Kim actually just spotted the Monster Hunter Amiibo. They made like four of them and they never came to the West. They are huge Amiibos of the characters riding monsters. Yeah, I actually had these Amiibos, all four of them pre-ordered back when I think they were going to come to the West. But then for whatever reason, they didn't and I just never got to pick them up. Now all of a sudden, top tier, this is what I want to buy in Japan. I didn't know what I wanted. That is it. This store not only has so much Switch stuff, there's like more Vita games than I've ever seen before. More PSP games than I've ever seen before. This store is awesome. I'm gonna have to come back. I don't know where we are, but I found more games. And he found a 3DS. It's good times. Did you actually kiss it? I didn't mean to. I went over, it was over aggressive. I didn't take oh, it by the way, while I have you guys, that last store where I bought that last Switch game, I asked them too, and that was the fourth store now that said they were sold out the Dragon Quest Switch. At this point, I've been in four, maybe five stores today, which was supposed to be our last day. Can I remind you all of that? And I cannot find this Dragon Quest Switch. But I want to show you this one because it's insane. And I think the only way to actually get a scope of this store is to kind of do a little walkthrough really quick. So this is an entire Dragon Ball section and it just keeps going and just keeps going. The camera can't even capture all of it. It loops around the corner into just so much more. All the way down there, little baggies of smaller figures. If you go past all these figures, it opens up into even more. 
take it. And these are the big ones and the expensive ones. This is probably the, I would say the craziest store for figures we've been in so far. Like it's an entire Walmart sized floor, just one floor of figures of everything you can imagine. I will say that I do love figures and there are some that really catch my eye, like any of these Hunter x Hunter ones, which is my favorite anime of all time. But the one I really like is this Killua right at the front, but for 138, I just can't. I just, plus, it's just the one. Like, at that point, I'd want to get the whole set. No, I can't do that. What did you find? This is stupid. What is it? I Little Mickey? It's Mickey, but he's just like. How much is it? <laughs> $8. Oh, well, if you like it that much, you've got to get it for $8. I very much do. I, I do. I'm like. starting to realize now that this Switch only just came out, like in September. And even though I was lucky to find them everywhere on my first few days in Japan, I guess it's just at that point now where they're selling out. I might have screwed up. We can find it. And the only one we can find is 450 I want to get this, but I'm not getting that. And funny enough, today ends the same as the other day with us standing around a cold, rainy street in Akihabara catching a legendary Pokemon. Funny enough, we're back in Akihabara. Is that how I say it? Yep. Right around the corner from where we got the Mewtwo a couple days ago. I don't know which Pokemon this is. It's the giant white lizard looking. I'll show you once we've caught it, but it's happening again and I'm really excited. So cool. No one does this in America. <laughs> I know. It's... I love being here. Let's just never leave. I'm down. <laughs> like, I'm actually, are you serious? Let's just... Yeah, I'm serious. I'm down. Okay. So Tyler already got his. I have seven attempts left. Oh, come on. The pressure's on. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I hate this. Come I hate on. this so much. I'm thrown out. Okay, here's okay. your moment. You only get one shot, one opportunity. Yes. There we go. I'm not even excited. It's not Mewtwo, but I got it. Did you not get them? Did you not? <laughs> Honestly, if the trip would have ended here, both Kim and I would have been perfectly happy. We had an amazing time in Japan. We had a great couple of first days. The day we went to the Pokemon Cafe is still probably just my favorite day. Just spending that day with Kim, my heart has never felt so full. And it was just one of my favorite days, if not my favorite day of my life. And something I didn't film or record was my birthday. I actually spent my birthday here and we went to Disneyland. I'd never been to Disneyland before. And going with Kim again on my birthday, it was just, it literally was magical. And if it was all to end right here like it was going to, it would have been amazing. But I'm still here because our flights were canceled and pushed back four or five days. There is a typhoon blowing in from the south and it's literally on course to hit this place, like this area that we're in, and then blow out into sea. It's scary. It started as a category five. It ended up being downgraded to category two by the time it blew past us, and it did miss us by a couple cities. This thing demolished everything in its wake. We were just very, very lucky at the end of the day, but we did spend today on edge, and then the next day we didn't even leave the house. In fact, Kim and I didn't even get to eat all day. I wanted to make sure we were safe, and we didn't want to leave. We thought about bailing to Osaka and just getting the heck out of the way, but all the bullet trains and all the trains got canceled, so we were just hoping for the best. Kim and I were both mentally ready to be home at this point. We've had a great time here, but we both just wanted to be home, be home with the boys and just decompress and, and, and move on with getting back to work. So just finding out a day beforehand, we're gonna be here for pretty much another week is a lot to take in and the whole situation is a little scary. I just can't believe the day that we were supposed to leave is the day that a typhoon hits the exact area we are. <sighs> Keep you updated on that. And now we are on our very last, new last day before we leave the country. And believe it or not, we actually have a really cool plan for today. And it involves more Nintendo Switch hunting and buying, going around to like the bazillion book offs all day long. Well, not all day, because then we're going back to Akihabara. But if there's anywhere I can find this Dragon Quest Switch, it's going to be somewhere in Akihabara. So we headed out to Shinjuku, and this is the first book off store. It is 
three floors. The bottom floor is full of video games. So we're in Shinjuku today and there's a bunch of book offs around. This one, unlike the last one though, seems to focus mainly on the main release titles. They have like a hundred Xenoblade 2s, a thousand Octopath Travelers, and a whole wall of Super Mario Maker 2. So I'm not finding like the obscure games, I'm finding the popular ones and a lot of them. I'm gonna ask them if they have Phoenix Wright because Apparently I didn't get an English release. But a lot of the really good multi-language games, like uh, this one, <laughs> I already bought, I already ordered off PlayAsia months ago before I knew this trip was happening. So if you've been wondering or commenting, why isn't he buying games like the Chocobo game or other multi-language games? I probably already bought them before this trip. <laughs> like an idiot. The second floor is full of figures. I love that every time I find one of these, it's like $80 plus. Yeah. Because I feel like I got a really good deal you every do. time. <laughs> Are you doing the chicken dance? I'm killing it over here. <laughs> and the third floor is full of manga, which none of us can read because we can't read or speak Japanese yet. Yeah, it's just books. Oh, screw books. Imagine that book set up before. We don't read. I love these stores. Next time I come back here, I am going to have to explore more of them. They have everything. And now that I am at the point where I feel like I kind of know what I'm looking for at Switch and staring at these walls of Switch games isn't blowing my brain as much as it was the first day, I'm starting to look at other sections and what next other than the, the Wii, Wii U. U. And I saw Yakuza 1 and 2 HD. I actually need to play these games. And I'm probably not gonna play them on Wii U, but I don't think this ever got ported to the West. And try as I might, I struggled to find a price for it. And the best I found was US $61. This is only 27-ish dollars. So I'm gonna grab this. It's just too fitting. I'm in Japan, it's Yakuza, I'm gonna do it. I got it. Book offs are actually really cool and have great prices. I don't think we're gonna find the Dragon Quest Switch in a book off because I'm now realizing I think it's all secondhand stuff and finding a brand new Switch might be hard. So this is honey toast, which is a whole thing here apparently. They take an entire loaf of bread, hollow it out, put in more bread, and then put ice cream and cream on top to your desired flavoring. It's good. It's a lot of bread. Now to this third book off, and I actually found something really cool. Daedalus? I've actually seen this around a few times, and I swear I looked it up and saw that it wasn't multi language. The cover art is so gorgeous that I actually just said, screw it, I'm just gonna buy it. It's $25. I'm just gonna buy it to have it. But I looked it up, I, I assume for the first time, and found out it is multi language. This is probably my biggest win so far because I. I'm really excited to play this. We're getting hungry. We're gonna go back to Akihabara and get more ramen. This place was, it was just so freaking cool. It was teensy tiny, smaller than the last place. So we found another little hole in the wall ramen place to get lunch at. This place looks really cool and I'm really excited. Hope it's as good as last time or better. That was the longest I've ever waited for anything and it was absolutely worth it. That is now the best ramen I've ever had. I love just the atmosphere of this place. So we were heading to a store that Tyler wanted to go to called GEO or something like that. It's kind of like a GameStop and I'm mapping my way and I see Super Potato. There's actually another one here. I didn't realize it was a chain. And this one's even bigger. I'm not as cramped in this one. It's awesome, but I can't find Switch. This one is three floors. The bottom two floors are full, stacked full of games. Just one of these floors is twice the size of that other super potato. And then the third floor is just all arcades. And this is the epitome of what I meant by just way too much stuff. Honestly, in this super potato, I put the camera down and I just wanted to explore. Kim, Tyler and I spent forever in this place. He has got a weird mouth. I like that. Why does he look like he that? He looks like he ate some beef. Yeah. <laughs> I've never played this Virtual Boy game before. It's the flying one, kind of like Star Fox. Yeah. It's actually really good. There was so much stuff that anytime I actually wanted to consider buying anything, I had 20 other options around the same price and I just couldn't decide. That super potato was honestly way better than the last one, but it was all retro stuff. So nothing I'm looking for. So we're gonna go to this store, which is more like a GameStop. We went to that GEO, I think it's called that GameStop type store. And finally, finally, it's here. 
and the music starts playing at the moment I find it. So I'm pretty sure this might just be retail price here for this, but considering this is the only time I found it at a price under 400,000 yen, I'm just gonna have to get it here. I'm not gonna lie, after buying so much stuff on this trip, this seems like a big purchase right now to be the last thing. <laughs> It's sold out. Yeah. This is bad. If it's out of stock, <laughs> remove the little thing that makes me think it's in stock. I don't think I'm getting it. The store's closed in like three hours at this point. I don't think I'm getting it on this trip. And it's very, very anticlimactic. <laughs> They're sold out of the Switch 2. I don't think I'm getting it. Stores close in two hours. But they do have this insane amiibo section. I have never seen this many amiibos in one place ever. And we have found one of the Monster Hunter ones. It's actually 5% off as well. So that's really cool. I wish we could have found more of these, but I'll take this as a win because right now I don't think I'm getting that Switch. All right, I had literally given up to the point where I, I didn't know if I was even gonna film any more of this trip, at least right now. And we went from a store called Big Camera where I found that Amiibo where they told me they were sold out of the Switch right next door to a game store that kind of gives me a feeling of like it's a new and used game store. The prices are usually pretty high. Everything I was seeing was pretty high. And I asked them if they had it and he brought out his phone and he was Google translating with me and I couldn't quite understand what he was saying, but he was essentially saying, wait, wait, wait. And I was like, I mean, I can wait, but how long are we talking? And that's when he finally went and he turned around the corner and out of this bag, he pulled a Dragon Quest Switch. Someone literally just traded in the Dragon Quest Switch so recently that they haven't even had a chance to inspect it yet and they're, they're checking it right now to make sure they can sell it to me. And if they can, they said it's gonna be 33,000 plus tax, so about 360. And as he's checking it, I found this. So everything's coming up Millhouse right now. This multi-language didn't get released in the West. Let's go home, we're done. Done, that's it. They look it over, it's perfect, it's in perfect condition. And I even, I asked them, do you actually have the game that came in here? And they grabbed it and they threw it in and I got the whole thing for 400 flat. Okay, so here's what I did. Come over here, it's really loud. We found it second hand, but it looked perfect. It was perfect. The only thing is it was missing the game. So I went ahead and I bought the special edition of the game, even though I already have it, just so it's complete. So in the end, I paid $400-ish, which is how much it goes for new. That doesn't feel fantastic, honestly, but I've got it and it looks new. And at least now that it's been open already, I feel less hesitant to open it up myself and actually use it and play some Dragon Quest on it. So at least there's that. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, and I got Phoenix right, so. I really wanted to buy this on this trip. I, I just feel like it really just tied the entire adventure together for me and I'm really glad I found it. All right guys, so this entire trip was fantastic. And, and I can't thank you guys enough for coming along the journey with me and watching these videos. Japan as a country is beautiful. The people here are so incredibly nice. We spent a week and a half here and I have not met one rude person. Everyone is just the nicest freaking person. Like you bump into someone, you're just like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Like, I don't know how to, you just have to come and experience it for yourself. I will say that the days that we stayed, other than the couple of days we had to be bunkered down, were worth staying for. I'll probably do one more video on Japan where I just go through everything I bought because a lot of stuff I bought didn't end up making it on camera. But yeah, just had a great time. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.